Oh? I was just about to do an intro, but it flipping started up 30 seconds earlier. Okay. Well, I'm the Tactical Spaghetti, and welcome to the Xbox Showcase, followed up by the flipping Black Ops 6 trailer. Five, four, three, two, and one. Global conflict. It's weird that they're showing this first, because I thought that the flippin' Black Ops Showcase is supposed to happen after the flippin' Xbox Showcase. Yeah! Oh, this is looking so good. Oh, to rub in a bank? Our boy Woods. Truth lies. to a CIA black site. Are you out of your mind? Things got complicated. Oh, this game looks so good. Literally looks like Cold War, but like way better. Oh, it's looking like the the flipping old, the flipping old Call of Duties. World premiere. All right, let's see what's up first. Oh, Bethesda. What are they cooking up? Super weapon of gods and king. What? What is this? It's Doom. Oh, it's our boy, Doom guy. <laughs> Literally doesn't have any other name. Look at them. That flipping wolf coat looks sick, and he has a shield to go along with it. What? <laughs> you grind up heads and shoot them right up and get the enemy? Chainsaw shield. It's looking like it's going to be slightly slower paced than the other Doom games. In the other ones, you're like jumping around, flying everywhere. It looks like in this, you don't really jump a whole lot. <laughs> Big old mech suit. Yeah. We chase our dreams and embrace the shadows. this starfield dlc oh it's look actually looks pretty cool invisible spiders thank you bethesda and choose your words carefully they will determine how long you live Pretty cool. It kind of looks like Doom. Where they kind of have like the hell stuff and then like the facilities and labs and stuff. We have a proposal for you. I never actually got a chance to play Starfield. Looks like there's a new update. No, not the creation club. No. Oh, but the, why you gotta do this to us, Bethesda? In part by Hold up, Fallout. Bombs away. Please tell me it's not a another Fallout 76 thing. He's sending the whole 
family to vault 76. Oh, no. It is 76. No. Shenandoah National Park to its majestic wildlife. <laughs> you did it, Turkey. Oh, it's Paris. And everyone of that age vanishes into nothingness. This is kind of reminding me of that fucking robot Russian game. Atomic Hearts. That was it. Destroy the painters so she can never paint death again. What? We'll break the cycle so she can't steal anyone else's future. Oh no, this game's kind of reminding me of her spoken. The hell? Oh, it's a flipping looks like a turn based sort of thing, maybe. These bosses look really cool, but it looks like it's a flipping turn based sort of thing. Oh, is this the flipping oh, I forgot I forgot who made it, but I think we saw this couple years ago it is oh, I, I love the little stylish I, I, I don't know how to pronounce that word how well, they for the minute where it's at like 12 per, frames per second gameplay I love the flipper presentation of this. Is the gator? Well, hell no. Hell. <laughs> Ooh. Kind of looks like the lies of P kind of gameplay. This looks gorgeous. I know I just keep talking about the graphics, but it looks so cool looking. Now what's gonna happen when she rings that there bell? Oh, I think she just ran the dinner bell instead. South of Midnight. Something from Blizzard. Up and cover your eyes. It was not fit for human consumption. Flying over Pakistan, altitude 30,000 feet. <gasps> Put the Metal Gear Solid. bring him back to the west. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake <laughs> from now on. So I'm guessing it's a remake of one of the old enemy. of the old games. I don't know which one though. Maybe clear? three, this probably. In other words, weapons and equipment to procure <laughs> crocodile head. I have to find my own weapons and equipment. Whose crazy idea was this anyway? <laughs> nice. Kick his butt. This game was so good. Wait. What the heck is that flipping triangle on the side? Commencing virtuous mission now. Diablo is one of the most enduring and beloved series in all of eh. We're Boo. Diablo 4 Boo. Boo. We're millions. Oh, right. Jew. Oh, not Fable. I don't want to watch this crap again. Who better to tell you all about them than... Oh, it's not Fable. I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> what? What is this? Oh, it is Fable. I was right. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> uh... 
Another plane simulator? Oh, it is. I was just joking, but I was right. Oh. Water rescue. That actually is a pretty cool concept. Another Bethesda thing. What is it this time? Elder Scrolls Online. Instant depression. I swore I'd never use my power again. Square Enix? But my question is, is, is this actually good? I found my friend's body in the woods. Kind of looks like life is strange. Wait, is it Life is Strange? <gasps> it is Life is Strange. Oh, that looks pretty. Life is Strange. Lucasfilm? Are you sure you want What's to the this? Indiana Jones thing? Maybe? Or... Let this go. <gasps> it is Indiana Jones. We have to find the stones, Gina. Or they will. Oh, it's looking so good. Through these ancient sites around the globe, you'd get a perfectly aligned circle. The Great Ooh. Circle. Exactly. Get to explore a whole bunch of different lands. What does it say? Earth something. Uh, <laughs> something bad about to happen. Uh oh. They got the artifact first. Uh, I'm guessing those are grenades. Where's the stone, you American rat? What stone? Have you <laughs> Classic. Who in angst? Does the fair heights for the first snakes? I endured this dreadful mountain even if my mind was screaming every step of the way. Americans will never understand. <laughs> that dude is just begging to get kicked off. And absolute devotion to the fatherland. Choo 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 choo. <laughs> this better not be the main villain of the game. If so, I'll be I'll be depressed. Please wait. Give me the stone. She's gonna have a grenade behind her back. <laughs> uh, saw that one coming. We gotta get out of here. It's actually looking really good. It's actually looking like a proper Indiana Jones kind of movie sort of thing. Oh, it's first person. Great circle. Oh, I like that. I'm definitely getting that. I have to play that. Looks really good. You never know you are a monster until someone comes to slay you, Ooh. slowly consuming every little part of your humanity. Oh, that's so gross looking. I love it. There's also been a whole bunch of flipping Souls-like games coming out. Guess every studio saw Elden Ring and went, I want that. Gimme. I need it. I should know. It runs in my blood. Oh, she's a demon too? Oh, here we go. Call of Duty. 
Call of Duty, Call of Duty. Hi. It only am excited for about the zombie spot. Couldn't give a crap. But multiplayer, I kind of care about the campaign, but. Oh, oh. An axe to, thro to the throat. In true signature Black Ops fashion, our story builds on real history, thrusting players into a conspiracy where a shadowy force has infiltrated the highest levels of the U.S. government. Branding oh, anyone that's actually a pretty cool premise. Kind of like Modern Warfare. The team Somewhat. With a brand new Omni Movement System. New way to push beyond your limits and move like an action hero. <laughs> peak of that later today. Round Dolphin base, diving sideways. No turning back now. Campaign. Oh, player has a favorite campaign mission. When we set out to make Black Ops 6, we were focused on delivering missions so iconic that they stick in your memory long after. We are giving you more variety, more dynamic moments oh. in the gameplay, and more options to finish each mission. We can do this loud or quiet. I'm just fucking enthralled. In this new chapter, we see a different side of Woods following his traumatic injury at the hands of Raul Menendez. He's been pulled from the field as he adjusts to a new role within the CIA. His protege is Troy Marshall, who's been making a name for himself in the field. Marshall and Woods are working with another new face in Black Ops 6, CIA handler Jane Harrow. She's All these characters are looking good. Fearless and brilliant and helps manage their relationships within the agency. But when an operation goes wrong, Woods you and You know Marshall what he looks like? He looks like a flipping 80s action hero. Our goal was to offer players a wide variety of mission types each crafted from the ground up. One moment, you'll be storming a palace. The next, you'll be pulling off a heist at a casino. <laughs> oh, we aim to take players that's all cool. over the world and immerse them in vastly different experiences. We also have conversation opportunities where you can talk, barter, and manipulate your way into different experiences. And we think you'll want to replay levels to see them all. So it's like the KGB mission from Cold War. We had like multiple options to go about. We are excited to offer a variety of different enemy types in the campaign. The goal was to provide different challenges for the player. Oh, so that's that would actually be so player. nice instead of just having basic enemies having it's multiple here. different types. We are excited to offer an array of brand new equipment as well as some favorites from the Black Ops universe: RCXD, tranquilizer trap, <laughs> adrenaline stem. Homing knife. Homing knife? Oh. Hacker comes in. I'll go. Three, two, one, go! Oh, that looks so cool. With Black Ops 6, our goal is to create a more connected experience that keeps players immersed across every single mode. Oh, I think they're putting way too much emphasis on the Omni movement. It's, it's nothing new. I'm pretty sure a whole bunch of other games have already done it. For the first time ever, players can sprint in any direction and move like a true Black Ops action hero with an entirely new global system we call Omni Movement. This unlocks the ability to move like never before and animations look good. Slide, dive, and our enhanced supine prone in full 360 degrees range of motion. Which then led to all the on the ground movement and everything. <laughs> else. I, I gotta rewind that. I gotta watch that again. All the on the ground movement. <laughs> <and everything else. laughs> Hit zones are regions on a character that react when taking damage or dying. In past games, we've oh, the ragdoll looks so good. Six, we've actually increased that to nine regions. So we, now we can determine if that enemy was shot in their left leg or right leg, and then we'll play a bespoke death animation depending on that location that they were. Hit. Oh. So it's it's almost on the level of like Left for Dead. Where as you round a corner or go through a doorway. Your weapon's gonna dynamically rotate in the direction that you're rounding that corner full speed. Oh, so leaning is like automatic now. The thing that I'm most excited about is the number of new weapons from the era that we've added, which includes many that are brand new to the franchise. 
<sighs> yeah, I'm loving the weapons. I'm a flipping gun fanatic. And I ain't afraid of admitting it. I love guns. HUD. Oh my god, they're the HUD. The last four years, the HUD of Call of Duty has just looked all garbage. Oh, this... This HUD's looking sleek and clean and perfect. Oh, nice. For instance, streamers can choose a layout optimized for their setup. Or maybe you want your HUD centered so you don't have to look away. Want to play hard wow. anywhere? Or finally Customizable your... HUD. Oh, multiplayer. Talking about multiplayer first. For now, here's some insight into our development of Black Ops 6 multiplayer. We focused on supporting three poor play styles for launch. Enforcers are the slayers who like to kill and stay on the move. Recon is all about intel and counter intel play. And strategists are support players who throw their bodies at objectives for the win or focus on taking out enemy score streaks for the team. And of course, it wouldn't be a Black Ops game if you can't relive those action hero moments in theater mode, which we're happy to announce. Yeah, theater mode back. Black Ops 6. We've covered a lot today, but couldn't leave you without giving you just one more thing. Zombies. Yeah, isn't Kevin Drew the flipping director of zombies now or something? Ground based zombies is back and we're picking up. Yeah, the thank you. Where we left it. We're excited to announce that there will be two brand new maps available at launch with a curated mix of fan yeah, favorite two maps and new elements to discover. For those new to zombies, it's our unique take on the cooperative horde mode where every map is packed full of powerful weapons and upgrades, deadly enemies and tons of secrets to uncover. The legacy of zombies is incredibly important to Treyarch and we are so proud of what the mode is bringing to players in Black Ops 6. As you've heard today, the innovations and movement systems will also be coming to zombies. Plus, <laughs> there are many additional zombie specific features, both new and returning. This is going to be a truly epic return for round based zombies. Be on the lookout for more yeah. intel coming later this year. Imagine if they have like explosive zombies and you flip a dolphin dive out of the way, well, like behind a corner or something. A little taste of multiplayer here today. So make sure to mark your calendars for our worldwide multiplayer reveal event at Call of Duty next on August 28th. Make sure to stay no. tuned for details. Am I allowed to talk about Warzone yet? No. Shut up. I don't I don't want your Warzone. Our goal on Black Ops 6 was They're not showing anything about zombies. And last but definitely not least, the triumphant return of round based zombies. Yeah, it sucks. There's so much more to Come on, like, they're only, like, literally the zombie section, there's only, like, 30 seconds, and that's it. That's all they show. It was 30 seconds of zombies. Okay, well, that was it. That kind of sucks. I waited all this time for them to flipping talk about zombies, and literally it was like, Hey, we have zombies. We have two maps. That's all we got. Then apparently... The flipping multiplayer is gonna get its own thing at Call of Duty Next. It's gonna get its own flipping thing and not zombies. Well, anyways, let's at least take a look at the lineup. While I was going through, I went ahead and made a list. Yeah, let's see here. Games that I'm looking forward to obviously Black Ops, Doom, Sanded Case, Starfield DLC, just then the Fallout, Expedition South of Midnight, The Gears, The Fentlock, Perfect Dark, Mixed Tape. Life is Strange, then the Indiana Jones. Looks like this year, next year, my wallet is gonna be sweating. It's gonna be sweating real hard. This has been the Xbox Showcase slash Call of Duty Direct. And I've been the Tactical Spaghetti. And thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.